couple of my six plates. Um, I've got a couple of jobs on that I'm making out of plywood, uh, basically just jigging the shape. So, uh, one of these jobs was my son, uh, who makes a score doing a media project and are actually doing a zombie film. Um, so they got along with guys who won a couple of machetes. I'm going. So, boys being boys, before I start thinking about trying to get a hold of some machetes, I just took control of the situation and said, I'll make you some out of plywood, because you can just imagine what would be happening. Um, so basically what I've done is, I've made two sort of mock-up ones out of plywood, sort of props. I won't even sharpen the edge, because it's always a bit boys. Um, all I've done is, cut the shape out in paper or card, laid it out and jigsawed it out. Now all that got lost on the SD card so you can basically see what I've done. Jigsawed it out and just like a proper knife or machete I put a couple of scales on and then in a vice like that and then overnight a bit of wood gluing. Okay so what I'll be doing now is profiling the handles, giving them something nice to hang on to and you've got a couple of prop knives as I said I'm not even going to sharpen the edges up. Always. And the other thing is, for my daughter, who's doing art A level, I'm doing some artist's palettes. So, again, in plywood. There they are. Use it like that. Get me berry on. <laughs> yeah. Do all look with that. Um, I'm not going to cut one out and then another out. So I'll cut six out at once with the jigsaw. Cut the profile out. And then what I'm going to do is just go over sanding in and out of there because their fingers are going to be going in that little groove so it's going to be comfortable for the average size sort of 17 year old thumb goes in there. I'll get back to you in a minute and do some profiling. See you in a bit. There, welcome back. Right, so I'm going to be using this my belt sander. I get that top there nice and even and underneath there and try and put sort of a few fingery grippy bits by using that radius over the top of the the belt there as it comes over that roller. So, have a watch to see how we get on with it. If I've plugged it in. is I've got the top and the bottom now level with what the main body is and I'm going to give it a bit of a, a moulded sort of shape there and there so give them some company to hang on to and take the rough edges off the end so they don't get any splinters. Okay, we have a watch of that. See you in a bit. about I'm guessing like 10 minutes worth of work and I'm using the, the, the rounded end of that 
sort of mould or shape what I'm trying to do in these areas where the hands are going to hang on to it. I've given ourselves, myself, a nice comfy handle. Put some light on it. You can see the varying layers of the wood coming through. Yeah. That feels quite nice. So, you won't get too much fatigue when we're filming for hours on end, I'm guessing. Um, I'd like to touch with some sandpaper and a dash of oil. And I'll do the same with the other one. So that's a prop machete at a 6mm ply. A couple of scales on the side there like that. Well, right, that's been some help for you. I mean, it's probably going to be amateur dramatics doing parts of Penzance or, I don't know, Spartacus or something. There's no reason why you can't make it out of ply and spray it silver. And you really can twat these right. <coughs> it sounds pretty good, but you don't got a metallic sort of clang. But they will take a ridiculous amount of abuse. So, hopefully they'll be happy with that and then trying to get hold of some bits of metal and playing with that and making their own ideas up. Okay, I'll catch you later. Hi, right, welcome back. Scott from Wednesday the Blades. Uh, now, one video I did the other day was concerning some, what someone said about, uh, I haven't got the kit you've got. So, that machete prop that I did just now, that used the machine, if you haven't got a machine, you can still do the same uh, level of finish, but it'll take you longer if you use hand tools. Now because you're working in wood, what you try and start off with is a rasp. Now a rasp is not a file. A rasp has nasty teeth. So if you have a look at that, you can see all those sort of dragon scale teeth marked on that. And this is a half round. So I'm flat on top with a half round. Because I've got a moulded shape, uh, you know what you're trying to get is something that's sculpted to the hand. Okay, so we'll start off with a half round rasp, working on the handle of the machete, and then we'll finish off using a file, but we'll wrap sandpaper around a file. Because you use file for metal and plastic, generally speaking, carpenters wouldn't use much of a file for wood. You use a rasp because you get more bite. Okay, but we'll use a file and wrap the sandpaper around it. So we'll get onto the, the working device, and we'll start with a rasp. Okay, so the work's mounted in the vise, and high enough so I can actually get the rasp down so we haven't got this part of the voice in the way now first of all I've got to get it level now if you're working on the wood this side you'll be removing material if you catch the work on the far side you'll actually break it out so you want to work on this side one at a time there you sort of tear it if I did it the other side I'd make a right mess so concentrate on one side at a time flat side and to be honest that's actually faster than the sander but that's due to these huge teeth and I can actually use less weight when I'm getting near the point where I've met this piece of wood actually just just the weight of the rasp now just the weight of it gliding across ok that's that done don't get lazy, turn it over again, lifting it high so you can get the rasp down low. Now, where I'm trying to get to is the same on the top. Okay, I'll get that later.